Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk with you about document sharing in G Suite. I want to talk to you about URL hacking so that you can customize how you are sharing documents out with other people. And then I want to introduce the Sir Links a Lot Chrome extension that makes this whole process super easy. So let's get started. I've got a Google Doc here. It says Sir Links a Lot Instructions and Demo. And if I want to share this with somebody else, I just head up here to the Share button. And this is the new sharing interface from Google. Um, down here, you'll notice that it's restricted right now. I'm the only one that can view it. But if I click down here, this change link option, I can make it so that anybody at Redlands Unified can view this document. Or I can also click that and change it so that anybody with the link can view this document. So that's the first step. If you want to share a document out with somebody, you've got to make it anybody with the link can view. Then you copy this link. And when you send this link out to somebody else, they will be able to view your document, which is awesome. The problem is sometimes you share this link with somebody and then they don't know how to get their own copy of this. And sometimes you don't want them to edit yours. You don't even want them asking for edit permission on yours. You just want to give them their own version of this document. So to do that, you want to share with them a uh, edited or a modified link that forces them to make a copy. It's called forced copy. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing you have to do is you got to change sharing permissions so that anybody with the link can view. And then if you go up here to your URL bar at the top, you'll notice that we've got a long code here that goes with our document. And then at the end, we have slash edit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up and change the word edit to be copy. So we want slash copy at the end of this. Now, I'm gonna highlight this whole link. If this is the link that I share with a teacher, a colleague, or even a student, if I share them this link, I want to show you what happens. I open up a new tab. Let's say I put this link in an email or in Google Classroom or something like that, and a student or colleague goes to the link and they press enter. Instead of being able to view my document, they will automatically be prompted to make a copy of my original document so that they have their own. And now they can do editing and they won't be editing my original one. So this is a really nice feature and a great way to be able to share things out with other people and force them to automatically make a copy right at the beginning. But this can sometimes be a little complicated. You've got to come up here. You've got to make sure you edit just the right thing and avoid any typos and stuff like that. What if there's an easier way? Well, there is. There is a Chrome extension called Sir Links a Lot. It's super awesome. It's easy to get and add to your um, Chrome inventory of extensions. One way is that you can go directly to the Chrome Web Store and then just search for Sir Links a Lot. It will then come up for you. And you'll have a little button over here to add to Chrome. I've already added mine, so I don't have that button currently. Um, you can also just do a Google search for Sir Links a lot, and the first result you should get should be a link that will take you to the Chrome Web Store. So step one, get that extension installed. And once it's installed, you'll be looking for this little icon over here. This is the Sir Links a lot icon. Um, it's over here in my toolbar. You'll notice right, right over here. And when I click this little thing, it makes this URL hacking business super easy. Right now, here's my current URL. It's that whole thing with slash edit at the end. So you'll notice right below this, I have four different buttons. So over here, I've got my force copy button. So if I click this, it will modify the URL and give me that slash copy at the end um, on like kind of on its own, one click away. Or I also have this button to do a preview. If you haven't done this before, preview takes your document and kind of turns it into a quick web page. So it's like a previewed version of your doc or your slides or your sheet without all the buttons and the toolbars and stuff like that. Template is really awesome. This gives the user a chance to kind of preview what the document looks like and then gives them a use template button in the upper right hand corner that allows them to use your document as the template for their own, which then allows them to kind of force make a copy. This is really nice if you want to do a force copy, but you want to let the other person view it before they decide whether or not they want to make a copy. So we recommend that as a great tool. And the last one, if you click, so if I click on template, there's what it changes the URL to. And the last one is PDF. This is an automatic version that will automatically form a PDF of this document. So you pick which one of these things you want. Let's say I'm going to go with template right now because that's the one I want to preview. Then you move here on to the second phase where you can either copy this link to a clipboard, one button click, now it's copied to a clipboard, and I can paste this into Google or paste this into an email. Or if you want to use a URL shortener like Bitly, you're one click away, just click this and it'll automatically clip, um, copy a short URL 
to your, um, your clipboard. And then the last version is this open link and new tab. This is great if you want to test it first and preview it and see what it would look like. Now, before I click this, I do want to mention Disclaimer over here. These bullet points down at the bottom are important. The first one, especially. Remember, you have to change your sharing settings before this will work. So before you use our links a lot, make sure you go up to your share button and you change it to anyone with the link can view. Once you do that, all of these things are going to work for you. So we clicked template. Let me go ahead and open it up in a new tab and you can see what it looks like. Here is my Sir Links a Lot uh, demo Google Doc. It is a Google Doc, exactly what we were looking at a second ago, but with none of those toolbar buttons or anything like that. And so if I send this link out to a student, they can look at it or a colleague, they can look at it. And if they decide they like this and they want their own, they just click use template up here in the upper right hand corner and then they're good to go. So that's Sir Links a Lot. You wanna make sure you get your sharing permissions set first. Then head over here, pick one of the dark blue buttons that you want, then pick one of these second row buttons to either copy the link, make a short one, or test it in a new tab, and boom, URL hacking made simple. I hope you got a lot out of this video, and I hope you'll give Sir Links a lot a shot. It's an awesome tool and makes your life much, much easier. Thanks for tuning in.